Hello YouTubers, how are you doing? So it's been a week of mixed emotions really. Um, obviously with Chicken Gate and everything else. And I've been down the allotment um, and I've had a lot of support from fellow allotment people uh, and I would say everyone else down there is on my side. Um, and I feel in a lot better of a position, a lot better place uh, today than I was obviously earlier on in the week. I'm enjoying a beer outside in the garden. It is an absolutely gorgeous day. I can't even see the screen on my phone at the moment because the sun's out and it's glaring out. And I've got a sunshade above me and it's still so bright. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. Really, really nice. And um, yeah, I'm just making the most of it. Cheers, big ears. Um, and getting back into the swing of things, really. What I'm going to do, I'm going to flip the camera around and I'll give you a mini tour of the garden. Not a lot going on, I don't think, since the last time. Um, but you'll see for yourself. There, there is actually quite a bit of stuff that's growing. Flowers that are opening up. Uh, but you might as well have a look. So, uh, here goes. What are you doing in there? What are you doing? What are you doing? Hey. Right, folks. So, I might as well give you a proper tour uh, of all of my garden, including the bits that uh, really, really need some work. So, uh, here goes. So right outside my back door I have my wormeries, as you can see. So what I'm doing is I'm using that one and that one's composting down. And then I get black gold in there, which fertilizes all the garden. As you can see, I've got different sprayers because I've got cleaning fluid uh, because of him. Aren't you, your monkey? Yeah, because he stinks when he wheezes up things. So, this is my gate. Front of the house is over there. There we go. And this gate was uh, made with uh, scrap wood. Just wood that was being thrown away in skips that was left behind by builders and workmen. And these, what, double gates and that gate there, including all the locks, all the hinges, Everything you see there, minus the screws that put it together, was recycled. So this bit's the courtyard, as it's called. Uh, affectionately known as the courtyard. Basically where I store all my crap. Um, so we have a... Cast iron log burner down there which is to go, I was going to go in the house but I haven't got around to it so it'll go in the summer house which is there, summer house which has got to go up as you can see it's in pretty good condition considering it's second hand jobby there are my sheds which you currently can't get to because of the junk that's in front of it so that's the bit of the garden that you never see obviously door to summer house she is growing some tomatoes and some dahlias. And we have some wellies potted up. I don't know what's in there actually. I think whatever's in there has died because of all the water we had. But I'll redo those for her. Obviously we have the bush. The barbecue area. My little secluded spot so I can get out of the sun flowers are poking through now these are day lilies and uh, they're slowly starting to pop up slidey gate again we have poppies and everything that are finally starting to uh, come to something. All the rain we had just set everything back. Things were literally drowning. Time, it smells lovely. First lilies of the year poking through. Parsley that goes to seed every year and every year, touch wood, comes back. 
I know this is a weed or wildflower, whatever you want to call it, but the butterflies like it and I get caterpillars on it and they eat it and I'm quite happy for that to grow there. Now I've just watered everywhere so these uh, daisies have started to close up because obviously when they get cold they think it's night time. This is the wildlife area. I kind of let it take care of itself here. It goes a bit nuts. That piece of wood is to hold all these daisies back because <laughs> they've gone mental. It's the one thing that has just gone crazy. And again, I know this is a bit of a weed, but the bees like it, so it grows and it looks nice. So, the shed with the, all my old oil lamps hanging about. <sighs> In the wildlife pond with the lilies. I give it a clean out every now and again but I just leave the stuff there and uh, whatever wants it eats it. But it's full of water snails, absolutely full. There's one. And I have seen frogs in there but they haven't laid any uh, frog spawn yet which is a shame but there's a way up there for them. To get in and out but hey ho it's one of those things well Oliver how'd you go mate Oliver's not allowed up here because he cocks his leg up things don't you so when he gets a chance to come up here he loves it because he can have a good sniff and a root so sheds hang your baskets the birds fledged, by the way, if anyone who was following them before. Uh, they fledged a uh, few weeks ago now, actually. Uh, I've not seen any dead ones, um, so I'm hoping that they all went fine, So, which is good. But I haven't cleaned out the nest box yet. I'll do that uh, in a few weeks' time. Hopefully there'll be nothing in there, but you never know. You never know. Oliver, come out. The lavender. I don't know if you remember this. This was the lavender that was saved from Asda. They gave it me reduced, cost me, oh, I can't remember now, something like three pound for three bushes. Well, two bushes are now in the front garden and seem to be doing okay. And this one is finally in flower, look at it. And it smells absolutely lovely. It's fuchsia, it's been there for quite a while actually. That was a tiny little plant when I had it. About, oh, I don't know. Two inches tall. Raised beds. This is all my lettuce. Can't eat it quick enough. There's a baby ladybird in there. Can we get him on film? Can you see him? There he is. Baby ladybird, hopefully eating all the aphids. There's another one, another baby ladybird, loads of them. You keep munching away, matey. You keep finding those green fly and you keep munching. And there's another one, look at that. There's a self-seeding sunflower, which I've just left, which I imagine came from the bird feeder. Got more lilies to come through. This one has started to die, and I don't know why, but we do get a squirrel coming to the garden, and he likes to dig up the bulbs. So I have a funny feeling that he's probably bitten that bulb at some point, and it started to rot. More lettuce. Carrots. Esme pulled one the other day, it was tiny. Spring onions, leeks. 
Yeah, I know I've got AstroTurf, but I think I've told you before, it's simply because it is so wet in this garden that I have to do something. And I didn't like the concrete path, so the AstroTurf went here. No idea what my dog's up to. Sadly, I have mare's tail here, because obviously this was a big coal mining area. So they used to put it into the slag heaps to stop the slag heaps crumbling on themselves. It's controllable, but you know, you'll never get rid of it. I don't care what people say, you will never get rid of it. It goes something like four meters deep. And people probably will criticize me for this, but I have got a spray bottle and I do occasionally spray it with Roundup. You just have to, to, to keep on top of it. There's no way I can dig out in the garden. It's all in the banks up there. It's in the neighbor's gardens. It's everywhere from when this was a coal mining area. So uh, no chance, you just gotta keep on top of it. More lettuce, more chard, some rocket, some flowers. All the plants you can see that are wilted there just need composting, just haven't been tidied up yet. Obviously that area is where the summer house is going and the cherry tree that was uh, chopped down from there to give me some more light when they did the fence. That's going to be chopped up and I'm going to actually convert one of the old rabbit hutches into a log store and I've got logs then for the uh, barbecue because cherry wood smoking it be tastes awesome. But I don't want to do too much with it yet because I don't know if they've moved on. It was full of black fly, the cherry tree was, and it was absolutely covered with baby ladybirds. So I've left it there because obviously while the leaves are there, the black fire stay there and I don't want to disturb the ladybird. So till the leaves all wilt off, which they're doing now, next couple of days, ladybirds will then disappear. And I imagine that's why they're over there because I imagine the black flies moved over. So the ladybirds will get them. Oliver, come out. He's rooting again. I have to keep an eye on him. Get down. <laughs> Trying to climb on the rockery. So there's the rockery, almost finished. Put some bushes up there now. Obviously they'll be partly hidden by the summer house which will be there. This is a curry plant. It's like rosemary, but it smells like curry. It's really nice. It's a herb, you can use it in cooking. And I've started to finally plant up the rockery. It's quite a nice spot to sit here in the evening. Again, <coughs> excuse me, more wildflowers. Bird baths, obviously, get more wildlife in the garden. We have tomatoes, sunflowers, and that was an Atlantic giant. But again, the rain has just absolutely crippled the squashes. They just hated it. I'm hoping it picks up. I have put another one in down the allotment, but you don't know. That's the corner of the rockery. There's my coracle. And then that's the roof of my shed, really. And uh, yeah, so it's quite a nice, quite a nice little area, actually. I can like potter in this bit here. I've got my cold frame. I can put my seedlings up here. They get quite a lot of sun, actually. Sun rises over there and it comes up throughout the day. It goes up round that way and that way and it sets over there. So I get quite a bit of sun. A little bit concerned about when I build a summer house, I might lose some in that corner. Um, but I think it'll be all right because the sun always comes over quite high about there. So I should get some down here. I am considering getting a mirror for this corner of the fence here so I can bounce back some light. But hey ho, it's one of those things. I do need to have a good tidy up here. As you can see, when they did the fence, made a right mess. So I'm doing a little bit at a time, day by day. So eventually we can get it and I can repair my coracle. I would like to get that on the river this year. Um, put my water butt there, compost bin and everything, and then we'll be all good. So that's about it really. So that is a very quick garden tour. 
So now I can go back to drinking beer in the sunshine on this absolutely glorious day. Look at it, look at it, it's ace, it's ace. All right, folks, till next time, speak soon.